Here's another section of Lanthanum. This is um, number seven from chapter eight. Uh, this one's dedicated in memory of Bernard Greenhouse, who was a great cellist who died at the age of 95 this week. The dogwoods white cascades under cool gray skies, like a mantle of foam across the terraced branches, a petal waterfall or flock of small white doves that drift as if one thought on the evening breeze. This shapely tree gives the suggestion of a dome or movement of a cello or a sturdy greenhouse wrapped about his countess where the whispers of the sounds are born in young leaves at home on high. Only the bright thread of a glissando lathed on a painful knot, low note ruby, rubato now, legato. It is the law of to be or not to be, the covenant with sorrow, Mickey, Alessandro, Absalom, my son, my son. The everlasting boy is rabid for the scepter now, the crown of righteousness, the scimitar of justice. Make it right, Roland, his chanson for Charlemagne. And who will wear the crown? Jason's chasing Ariadna through the labyrinth forever. Lust and revenge pile up the plinth of a putrid catafalque. The doves are gone. On an almond retina, their silent flight into gray twilight of a late-born spring. She is your alloy of steel, Bumpkin, your mosaic law woven hidden, hidden in the wave, your Sheba rescue, who is, was, always there. Like that tiny figure, Rex Artus, threaded through the iconic mishmash of a tall window, a Tronto, the unwished-for once-in-future tolling surf, a toile jean d'arc,